The vasectomy is uh, is a is a really good thing to do. I don't know if any any men here are uh, vasectomized, but uh, <laughs> that's that's a good one to go through. Um, somewhere along the line, this lovely lady found out that it was a short recovery process, so she told me she was going to give me three days of recovery. She said, three days, you get to lay down, I'll take care of the kids, don't worry, but after three days, I need you to get back at it. Which to me is absolute bullshit because I remember her complaining for nine months straight while she was pregnant, but <laughs> sure, I'll take three days. So that the day the vasectomy comes, <laughs> the day the vasectomy comes and she drives me to my appointment, and uh, I go in, I get it done, and honestly, the worst part about it is she was fucking right. <laughs> was no big deal, and I told the doctor, I was like, what's the deal, man? Like, I really, I needed, I planned on milking the shit out of this, like, how do I? So he shows me this, like, a la carte menu of items. So, like, for $10, he'll give me five extra days of recovery. For $20, he'll give me 10 extra days. For $50, he'll say there was complications. <laughs> so, 350 bucks later, <laughs> they bring me back into the waiting room in a wheelchair, and I've got a doctor's note that says for two weeks I need to stay horizontal, be relieved once a day, and have my bum bum wiped for me. And I'm thinking this is great, right? But this lady's too smart for that because for two weeks straight, I'm sleeping on the couch, jerking off, shitting into a pair of pampers. <laughs> Happy New Year.